everyone loves the leg of lamb, but you want to sometimes change it. So I'm cooking Moroccan leg of lamb. I have garlic which I peel and cut into long pieces like that and then I get a little sharp knife, dig it in at an angle, quite deep, because I want the garlic to get right in and flavour the lamb. And you do that all around. I've done some already, so everywhere in Morocco you see lovely piles of ground spices, different colours. So what we're going to do is this is cumin. I'm going to put that on the lamb and just rub it in with my hand and some salt. I'm using, of course, flaky salt, black pepper, some oregano. It just really perfumes the meat. I'm going to put some garlic cloves, these are not, not even peeled, in the baking dish, because this is going to have lots of flavour. These are nice little new potatoes. I'll t tip those in. But that is ready now to go into my oven. As you can see, it's quite a large leg of lamb, but I know that my St George is going to take that plus a lot of vegetables, and it's going to be great. It's a very good recipe. Well, our lambs had 45 minutes in the oven. Now I'm going to add the eggplant, roll them around in the, that, uh, the, the bit of the fat that's in the bottom because you want them to taste nice, get those lovely juices into the food. So I like to use a variety of capsicums only because it looks so pretty and it's good on the plate, you know. And the tomatoes, of course, they're put in now because they're rather large ones. If they're small tomatoes, either cook them whole or add them later. And back into the oven for another uh, 45 minutes and it's looking jolly good already. Well, this is the moment every cook looks forward to, a perfect meal waiting for the family. As you can see, this is a very big leg of lamb. Uh, it's called a long leg because it's got the chump chump chops on it and we've got lovely vegetables around it. And if you want well done lamb or medium, it's, the guesswork's gone because it's got a probe and it tells you in the book that comes with the oven uh, exactly what temperature to set it at. It's just a matter of pressing a button here. And I think it's every cook's dream to have an oven like that. To rest the lamb, once it's cooked, you cover it loosely. Don't tighten the foil around it, just loose, just to keep a that warmth in. Just like that in a warm place. Now we get to the important job of carving. I like to take a wedge out of the meat down at the bottom and there's always someone that asks for that bottom bit. It's a bit sinewy but people love that. If I'm go serving it as a regular I would cut again just thin slices like or slices like that and work my way up and I'll do a few more. Turn the knife around and cut it off the bone, like that. And there we've got our first few slices. Now, for the Moroccan leg of lamb, I would cut it thick, like that. So whether you have thin slices or thick slices, that is a lovely leg of lamb, moist, just the way I like it.